Nope, it's over here, buddy. <laughs> you see it? It's right there. Oz. It's right there. Okay, well, here's how the repair is going. I've added a little bit of piece of paper in there. And um, I darkened this down here a little bit uh, from those little pieces of paper that I cut up. So I think it's getting closer to where I like it much better. Uh, it's still gonna take some work and probably some Stabilo and um, I have some painting to do here of these threads still you know this all has to be covered uh there's a lot of work left here guys to be completely 100 percent honest with you there is a lot of work left on this layout i do want to just try to get through it though so i think instead of doing too much talking i'm probably going to just turn on the tv so i can have some noise in the background and um I'm going to start to do embellishments. I'm going to uh, paint the background with more of the Distress ink, most likely, or the Dilutions Shimmer Spray, because we don't want to lose that shimmer that we have in here. So um, that is my plan. Now, if you happen to see my head come in, it's because it's really hard to see. Um, I've got you, <laughs> you're like this far. You're, a, you're, you're 18 inches above the book and the book sits up here probably 10 inches <laughs> as I'm working on it so it makes it a little difficult so if you see the top of my head you know say lovey right okay I've got this uh, calligraphy white pen it doesn't look like it's ever been opened but I think I've had it for a long time like five years so um no maybe three years but still, that's a long time to have something like this. I will probably also use my uh, black testers enamel marker. Um, this is a much fatter tip, so this will make dots. Um, I will probably use my Sharpie. Um, let's see what this is. Deco glass. This is a silver glass pen. I don't think I'm going to use that. Let's see what else I have in here. Oh, here's another one of the white uh, pens that's open though, so hopefully it works. I'll use black Sharpie. I'll also use my um, gel pen, I'm sure. Uh, what else will I use? I'll probably use some Stabilo. We know Stabilo is a good thing. Um, and if I do decide to get out the stamps, uh, I probably will use the uh, alcohol ink again. That gold uh, alcohol ink stamps really cool. I think it'd be kind of fun to have some of the um, star, uh, the circle stamps and the scroll work in the back, like I did for the the piccolate. And also, we're gonna have to get every single edge with stays on. So. That's a lot of work, right? We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of work ahead of us. Now the problem with these paint pens too, this is the open one. Oh, 
I got really lucky that didn't go all over the place. God. That one's dead. I guess that should be a lesson to not do it that way. Okay, this is a brand new pen. Okay. Dots. Do we like those? I guess I probably should stabilo if I'm going to stabilo, huh? This guy's been edged a little bit here with already with the, the watercolor pen. So let's actually look at a little bit of stabilo here real fast. Stabilo sometimes just makes things a muddy mess. And, um, you know, I sometimes hesitate to use it for that very reason. You know, uh, it does make it blend into the background a little bit more. Do I want it to blend more? That's also a good question. You know, what effect do I want on it? Um, I'm definitely going to bring my uh, paintbrush in to do these instead of just my fingers here. Although, I guess I like what it's doing. In here, definitely. my stumpy brush again. I haven't used him for a while. I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, this thing is not appropriate for this application. It's too soft. Um, stumpy. Here's one. Ooh, this one got mangled. I'm doing some crazy work with that guy. <laughs> Throw that away. Okay, well, all right, guys, I'm just going to put you on fast forward here as I work through this. And um, oh, wait, here's one. Here's a Stumpy. There we go. Yeah. So, Stumpy is just a paintbrush that I've cut down um, and trying to get a fairly flat point in there, if you can tell that. And what it does for me is it allows me to come in with a little bit of water here. Just a touch. You don't want this oversaturated or it will completely melt off your Stabilo altogether. And for me, this allows me greater control with it, which I prefer. I don't like everything to be completely gray or, you know, smudged. However, some smudging is awesome. So you guys see what I'm going to be doing here. Um, again, I will bring in more of the Dilutions Shimmer Sprays. Um, I will also, you know, be bringing in the Timber Brown to do all the edging. Um, or the watercolor pencils, not sure. Probably the Timber Brown. So that's my plan, guys. Okay. All right. So uh, enjoy.